production manager is to oversee productions coming through and putting them on, onto the stage at the National, or indeed taking them on tour. Once a design comes together with the director and a, and a designer, we go through various stages and we go, what I would normally say with a designer is phoning up saying, can I come and listen to your ideas? And they might start to say things like, it's going to be modern, it's, it's, it's in the moment, or they might say it's period, which just gives you the indicators of where you might be going. My next thing is, is normally a white card, and the white card is the shaping, maybe what the materials are, that you, you, you can't see them, but you can start to discuss it. So in terms of Phaedra, I had some fantastic photographs with the designer and we were starting to talk about what the materials might be, whether therefore in relationship to in the building, whether we were going to be able to do it. We were, which was brilliant. And then I start to involve very quickly the heads of the department. That journey goes on from the time what we call design finish right the way through construction, which is what's going on here at the moment, painting, and then moving it on, onto the stage. So through all those, so the designer I work with probably as close as anybody in the entire project, listening to what they want, making sure that we can afford it and that we can do it in the time that we're allowing ourselves to do it in. My career path, um, I trained, um, I was very fortunate, I went to the National Youth Theatre and then I trained at the London Academy of Dramatic Art as a stage manager and with a technical training and over a period of time I went into various, I've been in repertory theatre, I've worked in the West End uh, and seven years ago I came to the National Theatre as a, as a production manager. You need to have a sense of what everybody does when you're a production manager so you can have an understanding when they're saying this is a very tight silly deadline or it's impossible for us to do this. An understanding is actually goes a long way. When I started, I can genuinely say that I didn't know what a role of a production manager was. Uh, those were the days when in each city and town there would be a theatre and there were more opportunities for people just to go into the theatre without having to train. Certainly in my time, you didn't train to be a production manager. Um, in the last four to five years, that's actually changed. And in many ways that's changed because of legislation and health and safety. And also our construction, we've become increasingly more sophisticated, shall I say, and more demanding. Our designers are more demanding of us. And I would say that scenery has moved on in a huge way. And that needs to be supported, that we're looking after our performers and company. That role is also taken on by the production manager. If you are going to be one, what are your strengths going to be? Because a production manager can have strengths in putting shows in and which are high tech with lots of video, lots of lighting or you can be a production manager that combs in on making sure that the, the show and the company, uh, th those aspects are taken on board. So your skills can vary and do vary actually, so of course production managers have different strengths.